Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back with another video, and since today is Monday, I will be doing my fourth installment of my Album of the Week series, which is basically where I just pick an album at random and tell you guys why it's my Album of the Week and why I think that you should give it a chance, unless it's an album that you've heard already. Now, uh, this, this was not my idea. You know, I, I got this album of the week series from my uh, my pal uh, JSR Music, who is also on YouTube. You should go check him out and go support him, and go subscribe to him. And uh, yeah, you know, it's always nice to uh, support uh, small YouTubers and uh, you know show them show them you care, show them some love. So yeah, that's JSR Music. I'm sure if you type it in the search bar, um, you'll find him. You'll find them easily. But anyway, yeah, today is my Album of the Week video, and I decided to go to a classic album. Now, when I say classic, I don't mean, like, the stuff I've been listening to, you know, like, like Metallica or anything like that. I, I'm talking about classic, like, I think this album came out in, uh, yeah, 2004, so... This is a Christian rock album, and this is probably one of my favorite albums of all time. Well, actually, it is one of my favorites. Uh, I do plan on making a top 10 favorite albums of all time video somewhere down the line. I don't know when that be. I I'll really have to think about. Uh, I really have to think about that list. It's not going to be a video that I just put out in a couple of minutes. No, I'm going to have to take some time with that one. But anyway. This is one of my favorite Christian rock albums of all time, and uh, the band is Reliant K, and the album is simply called Mm-hmm. Now, th this album has so many classic songs on it, and uh, if you followed Reliant K, uh, they've kind of fallen off on the last couple of albums that they put out, so I don't believe that the quality of music that they put out has been as good as back in like the early and mid 2000s era of Reliant K. Now, with that being said, um, this is a fantastic album. I mean, it's got songs like, you know, Be My Escape, High of 75, I So Hate Consequences, uh, who I Am Hates Who I've Been, This Week the Trend, More Than Useless. I mean, it's got so many classics that I don't even know where to begin when explaining some of these songs. But I am going to talk about, and this is probably my favorite song from this album, and it's the song I So Hate Consequences. Now, what draws me in right away is how fast this song is. I mean, the lead singer, I think his name is Matt Thiessen. He, he does a fantastic job on this album, first of all, in general. But this song, you really feel the energy, the passion, and you feel um, just a sense of, you know, a sense of purpose in this song. And... My favorite line in this song happens at the very beginning of the verse, of the very first verse. He says, so here I sit looking at the traffic lights. The red extinguishes the hope that the green ignites. Now, that to me, that's one of the most creative lyrics that Reliant K has ever done. It's probably one of the most uh, <laughs> creative lyrics I've ever heard, period. And... Uh, you know, it kind of makes me wish I came up with that lyric, to be honest with you. But uh, anyway, the song I So Hate Consequences, it's very fast, very upbeat, very up-tempo. You know, it's very it's a very chaotic song throughout until it gets to the bridge, and it kind of slows things down with a, with a cool little piano part. And Matt Thiessen's voice is probably, this is when his voice is probably the most... Uh, Harmonic. It's the most. Uh, was well, no. I guess harmonic would be the word. Very harmonizing vocals on the bridge, and that's uh, another standout part. 
where he's really being desperate and saying that he wants uh, to have Jesus back in his life. You know, he's tired of running away from Jesus. And, uh, you know, the desperation is really there. It's a great song. Uh, next, I'll talk about that. Now, this is probably one of the funniest songs on the album, and that is the song This Week the Trend. Now, this song is basically just talking about things that, you know, I guess people... I don't really know how to explain this one. It, it, again, it's another pretty... Uh, it's not as chaotic as I So Hate Consequences, but you, the, the chaos is still there. You know, it has excellent guitar work. I mean, the riffs in this song, especially in like the, the beginning intro of the song, uh, really uh, kind of put the song in motion. And um, it's basically just talking about things that people do when they, well, for lack of a better, I, I wish I could describe this better, but uh, I guess it's, it's just talking about stuff that people do when they don't care. I, I guess, I mean, maybe that's not the right way to put it, but that's all that's coming to my mind right now. Uh, like the first line says, this week the trend was to not wake up till 3 p.m. I picked a few conscious hours that I chose to spend and slept away the rest of them. Now, I can I can relate to that because, you know, when I was in school and every, every time I'd get out for summer, I would stay up so late that I wouldn't end up going to sleep until like really early in the morning. And I would sleep till 3, 4, 5 p.m. So... I can definitely relate to that, and, and maybe I, I said the wrong thing when I said it's about people who don't care. I I, I didn't mean like that. Uh, it's just hard for me to kind of describe what the song is talking about. But uh, yeah, I'll probably regret saying that. But uh, anyway, next uh, the final song I'm going to talk about is probably the song. Uh, more than useless and uh, this is probably one of Reliant K's best songs that they've ever made and uh, you know it's probably the most relatable song on this album especially for me uh, you know it just talks about feeling useless it talks about uh, you know feeling like nothing is really going right in your life and how nothing is really like you don't really feel important to anybody and uh, you know it's basically talking about redeeming yourself and saying that you know I am I am more than useless because you know God has personally told me that I'm more than useless you know I'm more than what the world sees me as I'm more than what they portray me as and, uh, Really great song. I know some of you on this channel may not be religious, and that's fine. That's fine. I'm open to, I'm open to everyone. But uh, just know that I, I am religious, and I do have Christian beliefs, and uh, you know, that's how I portray, portray the song. But of course, another great thing about music is that it's subjective. You know, it can mean whatever you want it to mean. But that's what this song personally means to me. So, yeah, anyway, guys, this is Reliant K's 2004 album, Mm-hmm, and, you know, if you haven't checked it out, or if you haven't checked out anything by Reliant K, this is definitely a good start, in my opinion. Well, not a good start, it's a great start, and um, definitely check out some of their earlier material, even earlier than this. You know, albums like The Anatomy of the Tongue-in-Cheek, and, uh, even their 2007 album, Five Score and Seven Years Ago. And I, and I think that that was personally the last good Reliant K album that came out. So, yeah. what are you going to do? But anyway, I'm just going to leave it there for now. Um, I want you guys to tell me what you thought of this selection. Have you heard of Reliant K? Do you know this album? Let me know. Um, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Uh Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends about me. I'm almost to 100. I'm almost there. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Take care.